Do got mail and it's super exciting. Do got mail. Do got mail. Duke, you got some mail, boy. You gotta handle it with cheer. Yeah. All right, hopefully Duke, Duke will behave and me and Basil will all behave. Come here. Duke got mail. We're gonna let him open it. Look what you got, boy. You got mail and it's super exciting, dude. You got, look what you got, boy. We got packing stuff. Oh, what is this? No pull harness leash. Let's open this up, Duke. Look what you got, boy. Now, all this stuff will have uh, links in our description if you want to, if you see something you like and you want to get it. Uh, we'll put our associate leak down there and you can help us out as you get stuff for your own pets And that leash was recommended by all Paul's This leash was recommended by all Paul's Cottages Cottages in Hicksville, Ohio All Paul Cottages in Hicksville, Ohio says they use these and they're great So it's a, uh, a leash and a harness in one It goes around their chest and underneath their body um the instructions are printed on the inside we picked the black reflective and it'll be cooler for him in the summer yeah. so this is a summer uh lead for us you saw the orange one that he always wears it's kind of got a chest plate on it and um it's real hot for him now the second thing he's got is the bark bark bay made by bark bay and this is another harness more of a wintertime harness now that it's getting colder. Um, wanted something a little stronger. Now this comes with a service dog patch. Um, he's not a service dog, but we can uh, make patches with his name and other things on it that he can wear. So if you do have a service dog, this would work for your service dog. It has a handle. has this nice back piece. And then this small chest piece with another tie down, which is good for the car or um, a lot of different situations. But you got the nice heavy duty lead on the back clip, the Velcro, and it is padded and breathable. So it's got some nice hef That's hefty cute. Barclay steel uh, buckles. And I think this runs about... Thirty dollars. So. It's right around thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. But I'll put this on Duke and show you some pictures of all this stuff when we're done. So stick around to the end. You can see pictures on Duke. Now the last thing in this box is this little strap. This is ten dollars. And what this is basically, because Duke's always trying to get up in the front seat with us. We were thought about a cage, but then that would restrict a lot of things. This uh, snaps right into your seatbelt. And then this has a little spongy elastic thing. So if we do get in, heaven forbid we get into an accident, it doesn't uh, hurt him as much. And then this will uh, clip on his uh, harness. So it will keep him in the back seat. And this is... Um, adjustable and I got the longer one because he is a bigger dog but I can adjust that way down and it'll give him room to lay down but still not get in the front seat so we got those three things uh, we probably won't show you this one but I'll get pictures of these two on Duke and let you see what they look like they're still wanting cookies. Yeah, they're eating cookies. They're, done. they're eating these holiday no cookies. Duke love loves these butter cookies. Shortbread. Loves the shortbread cookies. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? And look at these. Look at these three dogs. You guys are all being have because yeah. mom's giving you cookies. All right, Cor yeah. Duke. You gotta get photos, bud. Okay, so this uh, harness is nice. It's got three snaps: one on the front, two on the back, so you can just kind of put it over their head. 
and then pull up the sides and snap these in. And pull up this side. Snap this one in. If I can. Alright. So there's what it looks like on Duke. What do you think, boy? And it is reflective. You like it? You just want that cookies. You like that? And he's got this handle too. You like so they had three three or four colors. They had a gray, brown. Um and I like that you can add stuff like backpacks or something on here and you can carry it. It is mole and Velcro. See? Mole and Velcro. So you can add stuff on here. He loves to go camping and stuff with us. Um, this would be a great little uh, additional piece of stuff, equipment that we can use with our dog. And it'll keep him kind of wa warmer in the winter, I think, with this extra stuff. Now this size was what size did we get oh it's over there this is bark bay everyday outdoor dog gear and we did get black large so they have an extra large and dukes one. Guys, a big dog. You're down after this. Basil's a big dog, and this Lord. would fit either one of them. So if you have a Great Dane, they even have a size for that. Uh, I kind of liked mm -hmm. some of them. This neck piece wasn't cut back very far, and I thought it'd be uncomfortable. You can't adjust these straps, so it's all adjustable. I don't know if I like all this, but there is a Velcro thing that we can tie them up with. See the Velcro? So yeah, this definitely nice. Super oh, that's super strong. Okay. And it's right here by this, which is nice. Alright, right, we'll show you the next one. Right, so, when you take your... Uh, this is a medium-large reflective. Me. No pull. Escape-resistant harness lead. Mm -hmm. Good thing. So, it's the lead and the harness all in one. Super nice uh, product. And the instructions are right inside the box. So, one, you put the collar over the dog's head. Do that, Tammy. Come here. So you can see this rope's kind of set up. You just put it over the dog's head. You can adjust this thing by moving it. You just move this rubber, okay? And then. That's still not, I don't think. Come here. He's a, I'll give you a treat. You got a big head. There we go. And then position the adjustable black stops behind the front leg. Right behind the front leg, so where your harness would be, you want them to be basically right here. Mm -hmm. Nope, you want, nope. You want this to set right there, so this has to get pulled up to there. Come here, dude. They pull hard. Okay, now once you get it set, that's probably where it's going to stay. So you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. Three, bring the handle and rubber disc up through the slit opening in the collar. So you see this slit right here? You want to wrap it around the dog. Come here, Duke. You have to wrap it around the dog and then come up through here. Okay. So basically all we've done so far is put it over his head and then ran this. That go through leash through there, there. And then this pushes down tight to that okay good boy now there's duke and his leaf check it and out then That's right. you, like it, you can just leave that there and he's got a harness on nice and cool lead leash okay. nice quick and cool it's a good boy. There's a good in here, Tog. Do you like your new lead leash? Do you like your new lead leash, boy? Hmm? Alright, guys. You like these uh, products? 
you can go to Amazon if you want to help us out. The links for these are in the description. You can get your own pup for babies. Some of this stuff yourself. He's got slobber all over the couch. No. All right, Tammy. Peace, y'all. <laughs>